This video is about the artificial intelligence online course and this is a lecture one and we'll look into what artificial intelligence is all about. And in this course I, have, I will also explain about how this course is structured and what you can expect while you are studying artificial intelligence or what are the different components you should know before you study artificial intelligence. So artificial intelligence or AI also known as machine intelligence is an intelligence displayed by machine in contracts is a natural intelligence displayed by humans and other animals. In computer science, AI research is defined as a study of intelligent agents, any device that receives its environment and takes action that maximizes chance of success at some goal. Colloquially, the term artificial intelligence is applied when a machine mimics cognitive functions that humans associate with other human minds such as learning and problem solving. So this is one of the basic definition I found from Wikipedia and there are many other definitions. It's also possible to define your own definition for artificial intelligence if you want. The field is such wide. So basic understanding is that when machines are capable or when they start to mimic the human behavior or any activity that includes an intelligence which could be which could be shown by humans and it is done by machines such kind of intelligence can be known as artificial intelligence. So artificial intelligence according to me is building machines that can perform actions that could be performed by humans with minimum intervention that that's one way I see artificial intelligence. So it's about building machines or even you don't need to build physical machines the artificial intelligence system in today's world could be virtually present in a computer program and they could mimic some way the actions which could be done by a human and that brings a level of uh, capability of intelligence to a machine which can be known as artificial intelligence more complex working would include machines that could work on its own without no human help like machines involved in unsupervised learning but such kind of ability and such kind of achievement has still been very much not possible in the field of artificial intelligence and it's a area of research and more complex working would include that machines could work on their own so it's an area of interest such kind of machines will need complex development and algorithm which is still a debate of how should or to develop or such capabilities of such capabilities so it's still a debate of how to develop those machines and what will be the result if such kind of machines are developed but the artificial intelligence can be used in a good way to minimize the human or offloading the human work which can be done by certain machines in a better way and it can be reducing the human effort and it can also make the efficiency of the work much better in today's artificially advanced systems include self-driving car, expert medical diagnosis systems, also robot involved in the manufacturing, house cleaning robots, virtual agents or chatbots or bots, drones, airport uh, flight man management systems. These are some of the examples of artificially intelligent systems which you can see in your real life today. And you can put all these things under the bracket of what and artificial intelligence systems could be and it's a it's not a field which is new it has been there for many years and recently it has gained interest from a lot of people and that's one of the reason why I'm preparing this course so that more people or more people can understand about this artificial intelligence this course has been structured in such a way that for no non computer science background viewers to easily understand artificial intelligence also people with CS background will be able to relate to components but the idea is to make anyone understand AI so before you you want to quickly so why would you even be bothered to view other videos in this series one of the main reason would be to if you have a few hours if you have one hour or two hour and if you quickly want to get a basic understanding of what artificial intelligence is all about and if you are interested in this field and if you have some knowledge somewhere but you don't have the whole picture and I have what I have tried to do is that I have tried to put the different components of artificial intelligence together in one code so that it will be very easy for a person who has a one or one hour or a half an hour or two hours to quickly go through the course and get an understanding of artificial intelligence and I will expand on further videos in this channel so what constitute artificial intelligence in this course I have tried to explain the history of artificial intelligence also what I have tried to go and go through is the intelligent agents the types of intelligent agents and the goal based and the learning agents so in the history of the artificial intelligence you can see the development of the artificial intelligence which happened from 1959 or the 1950s and it has reached 2017 and the other parts which 
which may, might interest you or which you should know is the knowledge representation in artificial intelligence and this is a typical intelligent agent so an intelligent agent has it works on an environment it will take certain information from the environment using the sensor and using the actuators or the it will do certain actions so this is how a basic agent or intelligent system is composed of and it will have certain algorithms or knowledge which will be feeded into the system as condition rules as you will go through the codes you will get better idea of what all these components are so knowledge representation and pro pro problem representation is all about the artificial intelligence system is to have a certain knowledge suppose you have a fire alarm system so it should have all the knowledge related to how the system should operate on it should operate based on the sensor detection of a fire or a smoke such kind of knowledge could be fed into the system using knowledge knowledge representation and problem solution again to retrieve the information which is fed into the database and the knowledge base you will have to use certain ways to represent those information such information can be represented using methods like semantic graphs and you can go through the semantic graphs you can fetch information from the semantic graphs using search algorithms also frames and if and then rules are some other method to represent the information so you should also we will also learn or you I will also give some overview about the different search algorithms which are used to get information which is stored in the database and the knowledge base again another component of artificial intelligence system is the inference engine this inference engine will give the reasoning ability and reasoning ability is given based on the condition rules like if and then also it can be given based on the algorithms based on search algo graphical semantic graphs so if you see a simple in, in uh, si simple if condition and then condition then it is it can be seen that the condition says that if inflow is less than 0 0.7 into average and storage capacity divided by 2 less than then there should be a demand release of water so such kind of condition can be put into the system and it can be based the system can be made to reason based on the sensor inputs and this enables in real life situations or real life systems to work the another ability which an artificial intelligence system should have is the ability to plan. So when an artificial intelligence system is put given five different tasks, it should be able to choose between which tasks to do and it should also be able to choose between the order in which the different tasks should be done. Also, the, uh, also in systems which are able to self-learn, such systems can learn in supervised way, unsupervised way or semi-supervised way. Also the system should be able to communicate with the user and such kind of communication or in, of input and output can be possible by using natural language processing. Some of the real applications of artificial intelligence system include virtual personal computers and that's all. If you like this video, please do subscribe, like and comment. Also do watch the other videos in the series to learn more about artificial intelligence and this course has been prepared in such a way that for the people to understand this subject in a quicker way and for quick revision of what the field of artificial intelligence constitute that's all if you like this video please do subscribe like and comment